This is the story of Rascal the Bossy Porcupine, written by then six-year-old Kevin Siefkin, narrated years later by nine-year-old Kevin Siefkin, and illustrated by his mom, Michelle Siefkin. There once was a porcupine named Rascal. He was very bossy and thought he knew everything. Most of the time, Rascal ended up by himself and feeling lonely. At school, kids would not play with him. His teacher, Mr. Polk, talked to Rascal's mother about this problem. Willow Quill, Rascal's mom, was sad to hear this. She asked Rascal why he was being bossy. Rascal told his mom, that's just the way I am. She was starting to get frustrated. You won't have any friends if you keep behaving like this. The next day, Rascal decided to run away to the forest instead of going to school. He wanted to find other friends who would like him just the way he was. He walked like a bear into the forest, feeling eager and excited. Rascal heard something up in a tree. It was a mommy robin and her baby birds. She was feeding the baby birds worms from her beak. Rascal wanted to play, but the robin was too busy. Rascal told the robin that she must play with him. The robin looked at him and said, I will never play with such a bossy porcupine. Rascal was embarrassed because the robin would not play with him. He walked like a tortoise near the stream, feeling slow and confused. The sad porcupine drank from the stream. He saw a pill bug come out from under a rock. The pill bug curled up into a ball when Rascal rushed toward him. When Rascal told the pill bug that he must play with him, he straightened up. The pill bug looked at him and said, I will never play with such a bossy porcupine. Rascal was lonely because the robin and the pill bug would not play with him. He walked like a mouse to a tree and climbed it, feeling small and shy. The leaves on the trees looked tasty to the hungry porcupine. He started eating when his quills poked something. It moved! The scared praying mantis hoped its body would blend in with the leaves. But Rascal saw him and wanted to play. Rascal told the praying mantis that he must play with him. The praying mantis looked at him and said, I will never play with such a bossy porcupine. Rascal climbed down from the treetops. He was so sad that no one would play with him. He cried and left the forest. Rascal was not paying attention and crashed into another porcupine. He was BJ, a classmate, walking home from school. BJ asked Rascal why he was crying. Rascal told BJ that no one would play with him. The robin, the pill bug, and the praying mantis all said that they would never play with such a bossy porcupine. Rascal asked BJ if he would be his friend. BJ wanted to be his friend because Rascal was not being bossy anymore. Rascal was very excited that BJ would play with him. Rascal raced BJ to his cave to tell his mom that he learned his lesson. He told her that he doesn't have to be bossy anymore. Willow Quill proudly smiled and hugged her son, Rascal. The End